Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. When I went to look at the 49ers offense, I was about to go in, cut up some plays where they're motioning, cut up some plays where I like what they're doing in the run game and things like that to see if they can implement that with the Saints. And boy, was I shocked. Because guess what? I didn't even have to cut up plays. We we're just going to go through the drives. Let's start with the first play uh, of the Rams game. I just did the first half of this Rams game. And we'll jump right into this because this is this is just great. Something the Saints don't do. As you can see, as this, before we even start, Debo Samuel's already coming in motion to start this play off. You got use check following them. And it's the first play of the game. Hey, we're getting about six, seven yards on a run play. Saints never done this. I can tell you that right now. You got the first motion coming. You got a second motion coming by the fullback. That's two motions on one play. The Saints can barely get one in. And then, bam, look at this hole. Everybody's got a man. This is just really, really good football. That's how you start the game off. Not just running up the middle for one yard with no motions, no creativity. Kubiak can bring anything like this to the Saints. It'll be a plus. Second play. Guess what we have again? Another motion. And what does this motion do? Let's, let's just kind of break down what these motions are bringing these teams. Obviously, you got this linebacker kind of matched up on check right here. He comes, he comes over. That puts this guy to the middle of the field. Now you like your matchup right here. You like your matchup right here. You got Kittle on this safety. And you're going to take that 10 times out of 10. He's clearing out up top. This is really, really easy football. The motion kind of creates that. But a lot of people don't realize this. The motion is going to give you a look at what they're in on defense anyway. So you might as well run it. It's not just for fun. I think the Saints just ran motion because they had to, or they thought they had to. Once again, third play of the game, another motion. That's a good play by Purdy with his legs. But yet once again, we're motioning on offense just about every play. The fourth player this drive, fourth player of the game. Wow, what do you know? Another motion, another run play. This play could have been something. I think a guy misses a block, but hey, I still like the creativity in the run. Once again, you're going to get use check coming in motion. You get these guys flowing, flowing, flowing. Boom, I think 65 just overruns this, doesn't get ahead on him. But that's going to happen. Once again, we're coming in. Motion here. Just a run play. I think CMT could have cut that up, if we're being honest. Had a nice little hole right there. Probably cut that up in there. But like what I'm seeing so far, first game. come out with a kind of a trips look to the bottom but of course they're not going to stay in it turn into a doubles but right here look what you see all right just to start this play off you already know kind of what's going on you see 14 right here following george kittle oh he's going to follow him back guess what that tells brock purdy they're in man to man now they're in man to man you're going to pick the match up you like and he just chooses to come back i mean Right here, you got all types of matchups you can you can have. Just imagine this is Juwan Johnson, Elvin Kamara. Uh, this is Chris Olave out here, and you know you're in man to man. You know he got to come back. You have an option route. This could be Kamara versus a linebacker right here, and you got Kittle on a safety slash corner. This you just choose what you want. So right here, boom, you got one on one, you got one on one, and you got one on one, and it's just to pick your poison. He chooses this curl. I mean, this comeback route up here. Hey, and there's nothing wrong with that. Could have chose TMC on the option route as well. Makes life easy. The motion gave the defense away. Super easy football they're running out here, I promise. Just welcome to 2024. You think Purdy doesn't recognize this guy following? I'm 100% sure he does. <laughs> 
And at, at this moment, he knows where he's going with this football, especially when you get a too high safety look like that. He probably knows, okay, it's too high. Kittle probably not going to be there. I got to come back on the outside. This is really, really easy. It's easy football. This will make the game easier for Derek Carr, easier for Elvin Kamara. Just makes the game easy. Once again, we're starting off to play with emotion. Every play has had emotion so far. Now this one is two. And this one I really like. I don't care for how many yards it go for, anything like that. You got the first motion. Boom. Then you got a second one from Kittle coming in motion. See how you get everyone going right to their left, going right. And it's still this guy can come back for a cutback lane. Now it doesn't end up being there, but still, that's a real, real creative play. Really like the Saints had no cutback lanes this year. We're just kind of like running in one hole and praying for the best. Now you got CMC coming in motion. Now you got this guy coming in the inside. They're going a little screenplay right here, I believe. Hey, didn't get much yardage. I like the thought. Keeping just keeping the defense honest. And you can just set this up for a look for later in the game. Let's see how y'all cover this. And we can see what we can do you know, later in the game out this look. I mean, I can just imagine Taysom Hill even being that quarterback right here. Or Taysom Hill being in the Debo role. It's, it's a lot of things they can do with the weapons the Saints have that we just are incapable of using for some reason. All right, you already got a funky formation with CMC lined up far out here. And this kind of just gives you the spacing. This kind of gives you the spacing with CMC this far out here. Near man to man, once again, you got an option walk with CMC. Just getting them further out there, kind of open up that window in the middle. You see CMC way out here. You can kind of give their coverage away early as well. Just small things. Small things we can steal. I w wish we can steal the entire offense. I just highly doubt that will happen just because, I mean, Ken Kubi is going to run, want to run his own thing, but he got hired to do this. Let's be clear. Once again, another motion. Another screenplay. This time a really, really good screenplay. This is the first draw. I don't know if this is like cut up to, to make them seem like they're doing something they're not. This is just the first drive. This is what they're doing. This is just their offense. A lot of quick passes. Getting the ball out of his hand. Getting the ball into CMC hands, Kittle hands, and Debo hands on this drive. What a concept. Once again, you got another motion by a receiver. Good cutback by CMC. Good job by the receivers trying to go block some people. That's the one thing the receivers going to have to do. Rashid Shee, Chris Olave, A.T. Perry. You're all going to have to block in this offense. You're going to have to block. Really good. Your cutback lane, something I say we rarely had last year. This is a cutback lane. This is how it's done. Look at number 10 going out there trying to go make a block. Good football. Second drive. Guess what we're doing? We're starting off with a motion. Running the ball. Get four yards on first down. Man, this offense is just so much better than what P. Carl Michael had us running out there. And once again, get the ball to your weapons. You have them. It's a nice little RPO action right here to Debo. Love this play. Got this motion. Look like you got a dive. Linebacker jumps up. You know you got that slant across the middle. Really, really good play. Would love to see more of that. Like I said, welcome to 2024. Once again, another motion play. I mean...
what can I say? Have you ever seen Camaro with this type of hole on this type of play? You already see what the motion causes kind of confusion. You see this guy pointing to the linebacker to shift, to shift. He never really shifts. And when he doesn't shift, you get this double team here. This guy falls. He's getting up to the second level. This receiver's just pushing him out the way. That's a good double team right here. They got the double team right here. Boom. You get him sealing off. You get this guy on the safety. He gets off the double team and get to the corner. I mean, Jesus Christ, the one guy that got to make the play was a guy that's telling everybody to, to you know, shift over. He's not going to get there. He misses the tackle. That's just great football. CMC just got to outrun these guys. He doesn't, but it's still really, really good football. Really, really good football right here. If Brandon Ayuk, you, you know, blocks his man at the bottom of the screen, it's a touchdown. But, I mean, you can't, you can't blame him for that. But good football. Excellent, excellent block. Block to perfection right there. To perfection. Would love to see that. And once again, like I said, you're going to have the receivers come in here and block. We're going to have to have somebody to come in here like Jennings. Boom, get in on this double team. Get in on this corner. Got to block in this system. The receivers will have to be able to block. And it's going to have to be your top guys. If you have to bring in guys to block, then you're kind of giving away you know what you're doing. You see, this is their, their best receivers out there when it's time to block. Debo and Jennings are out there. And now you, it's no, it's no different. Once again, emotion. No stretch play to the left. Has it been a play with, with, a, with not emotion yet? Like, have we seen one? I don't think so. You, even you see this. I mean, they stopped this play. Look what this motion does. One motion. Let's watch the linebackers with one motion. Look at these guys. Little confusion. We're going to shift here. Guess what? They're looking back. Oh, we're going to shift back. Look, he's looking. Hey, hey, shift back that way. Everybody's confused. Everybody confused just by bringing one guy in motion. And we refused to do it last year. Once again, you got Kittle in motion to start the play. Guess what? You got Kittle coming back. I don't know what the hell that was. Did that ball bounce off Kittle? Hey. That's not part of the play. Hey, don't bring that over here. Watch this. I think this ball just bounced off Kittle's thigh. CMC just catches it. Whoop. Hey, just how, just how we drew it up, baby. Just how we drew it up. I think this is the third down. Get five wide. Man to man look. He just went one on one with I tell you. That's just really good coverage right there. Jesus Christ. First play, we didn't get motion right here. A five wide on third down. I mean, they got what they wanted, man to man. This is good coverage. All right, next drive. Got a motion to the outside to CMC. Goes to Kittle up the middle. This is just good football. I mean, you're putting zero in coverage on Kittle right here. Once that motion, you see him shift out. When CMC goes in motion, you know it's one-on-one -on -one basically with Kittle in a Lazone coverage. Kittle's going to win that 100 times out of 100. Coming back out, you got trips at the bottom. Making doubles. See the linebacker switching. Kittle comes in motion. Boom. Now we run a reverse out of this. I mean, just look at this play caller. Like, Jesus Christ. When you're gashing the team up the middle, you're running the ball up the middle like this, these things are going to be open. This is, just, this is just really good football. And once again, like I've been saying, ball and playmaker saying, you've seen this, we've thrown the IU, we've thrown the Kittle and CMC. I'm not saying your offense just needs to be three people, but man, hey, get your playmakers the ball. The Saints refuse to do this. Get your best players the ball in their hands. That's the one thing I like about the 49ers. Guess what? Their best players are going to get the ball. That sounds like a crazy concept, right? <laughs> Trips up top, but you know we're not going to stay there. We're going to come to this two tight end look because we're a smart football team. Another run play. Like I say, all these plays are not going to be successful. I mean, the 49er offense was not like unstoppable. But yet, I mean, they're in the Super Bowl for a reason. <laughs> you got that.
just the movement by the offensive line, the creativity with the motions, all good. All really, really good. Once again, trips at the bottom, but we're not going to stay there because we're in 2024. And he just got to make this throw. This is a great double move. This is a great route. This is a great call. See this, this safety. See how he read Purdy on this. He wants to break on this. And the 49ers know this because they have competent offensive staff. This guy's been kind of lurking all year. Boom. It's a stop and go. And boom. This is a touchdown. Purdy, you got to make this throw. You just got to make this throw. Perfect call. I mean, we just got to make those throws. I would love to see Rashid Sheed on a stop and go out of this. Chris Olave on a stop and go out of this. We just can't make this throw. Have to make that throw as a quarterback. Love to play call. Once again, another motion. And you probably have another touchdown right here on third down. You probably have another touchdown. Watch what this motion does. This is what I mean by motions will kill defenses, man. Look at this up top. All right, you got Debo coming in motion. Now watch this guy. The panic, the fear, everything. Watch this. Look at this. He's looking back. Safety comes down to talk to him first. Watch the safety. He comes in motion. Safety's going to say something. He's trying to relay it to this guy. Now watch him. This is just panicking. Turn around. Turns around. You can tell he doesn't know what's going on. And guess what? This is wide open. I mean, in the NFL, this is the best you're gonna get. The pressure gets to him, so he's not be able to, he's not able to get it off. But just this little small little motion. Crazy. This just breaks down this entire defense. You got four guys trying to communicate. Four guys trying to communicate what to do because everybody's responsibility changed once he comes inside. And you can see, I mean, he's turned around when the wall's almost snapped. He's still trying to relay messages and they did all that relaying messages, and they still left Debo Samuel wide open. Small things. We can implement this. Promise it's not hard. Just a small little motion, I promise. Confuses this entire defense on this side. It's just that the center got his ass kicked right here. So, you know, Purdy wasn't able to get this ball off. But if he was, that's probably a touchdown or a really, really big play. All right, next drive, starting off with a motion once again. And I really love this motion. This is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. This is football. This is football right here. Look at this motion by uh, Jennings right here. Debo Samuel is it's about my three yards off the ball right here. Because this motion, usually when you motion people, you come behind the receivers. He's going to actually undercut Debo Samuel, which is just creative in its own right. He's going to motion under him. And he's going to run this bubble screen. And this is just perfect. This is just perfect. And look at this. Great blocking out here. Once again, this guy jumps outside. Don't know why he did that. That's just not smart. Now you got one guy blocking two. Jawan Jennings is like, oh shit, my guy's an idiot. But guess what? I'm going to turn up field and go block somebody else. I mean, look at this. This is football. We don't have this. And once again, ball in the playmaker's hands. Ball in the playmaker's hands. And the ball's getting out quick. Everything the Saints don't do. And you get these linebackers flowing. You get this motion. You get this motion. But watch the line. Watch the offensive line. We're all flowing to the right over here, to their left. Look at this. They're all diving this way, which guess what? That's going to hold these linebackers. Because look, they're flowing this way. And now you pull it out through a screen backside. Now you got all these guys that were flowing the wrong way. Got to come way over here to make this play. We don't have that in the offense. Hopefully we, hopefully we will now. Come out in five wide. But no, of course, because we're going to use a motion. Boom. Throw it to CMC. That's great. He wasn't accounted for in his motion for some reason. That's Elvin Kamara. This guy's trying to stay home right here. But guess what? You're going to leave them in the flats. He's got, just got to go make that play. But I mean, as an offense, you take nine yards, eight yards on first down every time. Motions, just confusing people, just confusing people, leaving people wide open. The one thing I watch around the NFL is some teams, they be having people wide open because they just confuse the coverage, just confuse the defense. The Saints never really have no one wide open. We got another motion, going to run it this time. 
But yeah, the Saints just never have anyone wide open. If we have someone wide open, it's literally just because Rashid Shaheed or Chris Olave just ran past him. It wasn't because the motions and the play design got him open. That's the one thing we don't have. Hey, sometimes you got to design people just to be wide open. It's tough. It's the NFL, I know. But hey, every other team does it. This is like a two-minute drill as well there and hurry up. And you just got, hey, a four verts play right here, which the Saints love to run in two-minute drill because we just had nothing else. Right here, they're in cover three. You know, this guy got to go on the inside of him. Kid who got to go on the inside of him. You just got to hold that safety. This is nothing major. Everybody in the in the world runs this play. I think he got Kittle right here if he looks off that safety and comes to Kittle. But same concept over here. You got Kittle wide open, him wide open. These guys actually break it off um, in this in this route concept, which is good because everyone doesn't need to go deep. But it's still basically a four verticals concept against cover three. Actually infuriates me watching a competent offense, to be honest. Very infuriating. Because we have the weapons. That's the first play, I think, caught by somebody other than Debo, Kittle, or CMC in the two-minute drill. The first play. I don't know what we had going on here. Miscommunication. Something. All right. Got another motion by Debo. Ah, he had him on the corner out. Just floated it. They got a PI out of it, but hey, he had him. Once again, man, just this motion, this subtle motion seems to keep getting him open. Once again, 14 is trying to communicate with the safety. He told the safety something. Guess who ignored that? The safety. <laughs> Guess who ignored that? The safety. And that's wide open. That's actually a good ball, but just PI. You take that first and goal. That Debo motion has been giving around problems this first half, I see. Maybe if he can step into that, you know, put it on the line, it's a touchdown. Come on, goal line. First and goal. I mean, this is already craziness. You come out with the fullback, basically a running back. You put CMC as a receiver. Now the defense is just all confused. They have no idea what the hell is going on. Play doesn't work. A bad play design here, but I mean, you just look at this. Watch the defense when CMC goes in motion. Watch how confused everybody gets. Look at this. CMC goes in motion. These two guys are like, what the hell? These two guys are going over there. He's confused. He's confused. He's confused. Look at this. Everybody running. Everybody panicking. If the 49ers just went a little quicker, they might have had this. I mean, you got everybody on this defense confused when CMC goes in motion. Think if these guys get there quicker, as soon as he does this, watch. Everybody's kind of got their guy. CMC goes in motion. All hell breaks loose on his back end back here. No one knows what to do. They just playing football, to be honest, at that point. Once again, they come out fast this time, and they come out in five wide. You see the 49ers trying to, not the 49ers, the Rams trying to adjust. They break the huddle. Everybody sprints out. They come out in five wide, trying to catch them slipping. They end up not catching them at all. And he just kind of throws this ball away. And this is also, this is late in the half right here. So I don't know how many timeouts they got. So they, they kind of have to throw the ball. That's why I think they would have just ran the ball. I think they got, you know, have one a timeout, two timeouts, first and goal. You want to just run the ball and use that timeout. I don't know how much time's left in the half, but I know they were in two minute drill. So they're probably just trying to score quick, quick plays. But now on third down, know what they're going to do. You got that one timeout, then we just going to run it. So hey, they tried to get it quick, couldn't get it. Had like one time out in the tuck. Finally, we're just going to run a quarterback sneak because we can run the ball on third down. All those other players was try to score quick. And that's just perfect. That's just perfect. A lot of this, the Saints need to implement. The Saints need to implement. I mean, you look at what Brock Purdy looks like. I can say he's comparable to, to Derek Carr. It might sound crazy, but I think they're on the same level of football player. They're both are not great. They're both are not awful. But if you put them in situations where they can win, 
then they both will win. They both will win. It's a lot that the Saints can take out of this. Obviously, the offensive line play will have to be better. Because this offensive line from the 49ers, especially in the run game, really good. Offensive line play will have to be better. I think Trevor Penning will be a guy that excels in an offense like this. A lot of running, a lot of play action. You're kind of keeping those defensive ends at home, which gives you an extra half step on these guys. And you get to get downhill a lot in the run block. Something that Trevor Penning was drafted for, and we never really used him. So, I mean, you can put that on who you want to put on. Uh, Doug Marone's no longer with the team, so it's going to be a new offensive line coach. He gets a fresh start there. But the offensive line, this should, this should help them a lot. Just the creativity should help them a lot. Yeah, it's going to be a little different from just lining up who's in front of you and hitting them. Because we did that a lot. Um, on the quarterback, we already spoke on the quarterback. Derek Carr should be much improved. Should be much improved. You're going to have an offense from this century, finally. Uh, not Sleepy Pete back there, who I think didn't want the job. Finally going to have an offense from this century. Looks like he's getting the ball out of his hands quick. And they're getting the ball to the playmakers. Something we didn't do for some reason. So the receivers, Chris Olave, he should be ready. Rashid Shaheed, he should be ready. And I can see A.T. Perry probably going to need to put on a little weight. because He can play. He can play in that Jennings role. He can play, you know, as that not extra tight end, but kind of come in on that extra tight end sets as a receiver. And, and you're going to have to block. The receivers will have to block in this offense. For this offense to be successful, they will have to block. It's a lot of screen game. It's a lot of those guys coming in on side of the tackle, making those blocks. It, they're going to have to block. No ifs, ands, buts about it. The receivers are going to have to block in this system. Uh, and I think uh, something a lot of people aren't talking about that's going to be really, really big, Elvin Kamara. He should be sleeping peacefully. He should be watching this like, oh, my God. Finally, finally, finally. An offense that fits my style, an offense that gets the ball to their playmakers, and an offense that runs the ball early and often. Early and often, and not just up the middle. I mean, this is going to help Jamal Williams if you're still with the team. Kendra Miller. Like, the running back trio that we had this year, if you put them in this offense with the 49ers, one thing to know about the 49ers, when CMT's not out there, that offense still goes in the run game. Because the scheme is the scheme, and it works. And it works. So I'm super, super excited. This is only one half of football. I can't wait to keep watching to see what they bring. Um, but hopefully Clint Kubiak can bring some of that to the Saints, man. Because God damn it, we need it. We need it. Thank you all for tuning in once again. It's always the Boot Tragedies. And I'm out.